Uh, more than 10 years, uh, I am in construction, development, project management, construction supervision, uh, and uh, many uh, realizing several projects in throughout Kazakhstan. And today I would like to share uh, my uh, 12 years experience in Kazakhstan. And uh, I want to share with you uh, some experiences uh, during these projects. And also I would like to uh, provide you some ideas to develop some principles that you can use in any kind of business in your future career. And uh, I would like to also share with you uh, some of the tasks that can help you to design your life better. So, uh, first thing I would like to underline, in our uh, business or in the business in the future, whether you are doing IT uh, business or whether you are related with uh, management or uh, oil and gas engineering, uh, whatever you do, you must uh, uh, develop at first idea. You should have a clear idea about what you are doing, what you are offering, and uh, the steps also where you are moving. So my job is uh, to turn ideas into uh, reality. In all the projects, when we start, we start in a very single idea to realize a very big project. For this, we cooperate with a lot of disciplines. When we say about construction, today uh, we see, of course, uh, in different parts of our city, a lot of construction projects. But um, uh, in each project, at least 1,000 people are working. And before these projects are uh, realizing, lots of disciplines uh, integrating, working each other, and making a joint decision. To make it happen, you should be always in communication, you should be always in uh, discussion, you should be always understanding people's ideas, and uh, you should make a common decision. So this is the way of uh, how we are moving. And I was uh, very lucky in uh, Kazakhstan because uh, I work in top uh, global companies, construction projects and uh, I take a part in the realization of these projects. Some of the companies I will uh, underline is Japan Tobacco International, called GTI, Caterpillar, it's an American company, Metro Cash and Carry, it's a German uh, retail company, Al Hilal Bank, it's an Arabic first Islamic bank of uh, Kazakhstan, and uh, many others. So, when we are moving uh, in these projects, uh, I understand three main principles you must have. Because uh, I'm not sure uh, you will work in construction or you will do in management or uh, in IT or whatever you plan. You must have uh, three principles uh, in main in any kind of business. The first principle is you must create value. This is very important. We always underline it. You cannot work just simple for uh, making money. This is impossible. In today's uh, business environment, uh, this is absolutely not acceptable. Whatever you should do, first of all, you have to understand what value you create. In many of the projects, for example, when you are doing a uh, production plant, we understand that a lot of people will work there. For example, 400, 500 people will work in this manufacturing plant, and this motivates us uh, to work and to overcome all the challenges. Because we understand that in case or two years or three years, will not go for uh, free, and it will turn into jobs, in, it will turn into creating uh, great economy for the country and for the uh, people, future of their families. Uh, second thing is, whatever you are doing, uh, you have to be busy with something that makes you happy. This is uh, absolutely very important. 
because if you are uh, interested, inspired to do something, I'm sure you will be more successful. So you are in this time uh, can select million ways. Uh, you can educate in some area, but you can develop and work in different areas. So in this uh, moment, please try to identify what you like more, what you are happy at, and how you can uh, make others also happy with your business or with your management or with your choice. And the third thing is uh, you have to be honest. This is crucially important. You, the ethical value now in doing uh, in business environment is very important. You should be transparent, clear about your actions, what you are doing, because sometimes you can be not successful. Whatever you are doing, they may criticize you. Maybe sometimes you can, uh, uh, not intentionally, but do something wrong. But if you are keeping ethical values, and if you are very honest in your actions, uh, people will forgive you. So these three principles, if you build, and uh, if you will follow these um, recommendations, now what I will share with you, you will design your life for better. Your life is uh, your best project. Because if you will design your life initially in a uh, marvelous level, in an AFSAM format, then you will be very uh, contributive to your families, to your country, to your relatives. The first uh, uh, habit for designing your life is um, change. Change is very important because uh, every day you wake up, something will be new. In nowadays, and it is uh, incredible. Sometimes regulations change. Sometimes business environment change. Your competitors uh, fail or new competitors enter market. Banking system change, interest rate change. Whatever you do business, you will be in connection with many of the uh, business environments. Even just construction or oil and gas, everything is very linked with financial environment, legal environment. So you must be ready to change every day and adapt, adapt yourself uh, and adjust all your program according to these changes. For example, about myself, I would like to inform you, 10 companies I launched uh, since uh, 12 uh, years. So probably you understand that I try a lot of things. I tried uh, many things in international business, I try in exports and uh, trade, I tried in marketing, I tried some uh, business related with arts, I tried uh, not only, I mean construction, but also uh, some supporting uh, business like project management, engineering. So in all these business, I understand one thing, you have to adapt and change very rapidly. If something is not working, you don't need to uh, force yourself to insist and uh, just to stay that everything will, will become uh, okay. You must definitely change, adapt, and very fast uh, find your uh, right path. The second thing, which is very important, is empathy. In any kind of uh, business environment, probably you will, after graduation, you will start working in some companies and you will be um, engaged with hundreds of people. And most of the people, probably you, you may have some dispute, you may have different understanding, maybe different perspective about life, about business, so you may struggle. So if this kind of uh, situation uh, happens and probably may happen, you have to make an agreement uh, with, with these people. You cannot just insist on your own ideas or own thoughts. Definitely, you must understand their perspectives and you have to create a greater empathy and you must uh, make a joint decision. 
About empathy, I would like to say one more thing. IQ was discussed maybe very much past 50 years, but now we are uh, discussing EQ. What is this? Emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is very important as IQ. Sometimes in company, we keep some people, we hire some people who, who have really high emotional uh, uh, EQ. Why? Because they are maybe not expert or not professional a lot, but we understand that they have a better understanding what people feel. They feel positive about the concept what we are discussing or they, when we go to client, they understand us well or not. They can observe and clarify us the situation much more nice. And just because of this reason, sometimes we go to meetings with such kind of people. After seven years of my uh, business, at a very peak point, when we are dealing with very large projects, uh, I understand that I should really refresh my knowledge because it wasn't enough. I was reading books, I was uh, trying to uh, listen a lot of videos from experts, but then I r realized that I really need uh, a real education. And I applied many universities and after I get respond from Harvard University Canada School, an executive education program, I decided to give up my actual business. Even we had some projects, I hand over all of my responsibilities to the team and I uh, proceed with this education. After the first uh, program, I definitely understand how much I know less. And I decided to continue this uh, education in uh, other countries. And I applied to Liverpool, I applied to Oxford University and uh, entered a lot of uh, programs in MBA, in uh, different executive education. So you have to know uh, after, graduate, after graduation, your uh, study is not finished, it's just start. Especially in professional life, each day you should not pass any single opportunity. You have to keep learning. You have to learn something new. This is very important. And um, how much you know more, how much you are a good expert, you may not uh, be successful enough if you don't have the sale skills. For example, you can be a very nice uh, IT manager. You, you know about uh, software programs very well, or you can be a doctor even. But you should have sales skills. Firstly, you must sell yourself. You, you have to sell your ideas. You have to sell your project. Because sometimes we are going to financial institution or some uh, investor and trying to uh, show them some project. And we have to sell them this project for us later to construct this project. And to keep their interest, we definitely need to convince them. And this is the reason you have to learn sales skills. This is also a very consultative approach because uh, professional sailors are consultants. They know how to advise people. And I hope you will also develop uh, sales skills and your consultative skills. Uh, to design your life for better, you have to uh, start from zero. Because after graduation, probably you, you will get your first job. Uh, maybe after some period, your uh, business environment may change your uh, needs, requirements will change, or your company's economic position will change, and you may be fired. You can maybe lose your job. Maybe you can uh, start a new project as an entrepreneur, but it may fail after a couple of years. So if you are knowing how to start from zero, and you develop this mindset, every time that I'm ready to start from zero, 
then you will not be affected uh, very harsh from these changes. For example, I want to share with you also my one of personal, uh, not so good <laughs> experience. In 2008 crisis, it was a global crisis about real estate and of course we are doing a lot of construction projects and uh, we hit from a very harsh point because we had a lot of contracts, each of them over a million dollars and most of them are cancelled. And we had a lot of investment. We have a lot of, uh, I mean, people we hired, we invest on uh, to engineering. Some of them, we order a lot of equipments from uh, different countries and materials as well. So we are paralyzed for at least a half year and we don't know what to do because we, we have uh, all our customers, let's say bankrupt or all financial contracts are uh, finished, but we have a lot of obligations to pay. And it, it was the time after five, six months, we just decided to start everything from zero. And it was really a good decision because most of the companies or people just leave uh, from Kazakhstan or go to other, I don't know, countries, uh, pass their uh, projects, but we stay and uh, uh, try to make everything from the beginning and we succeed. After five, six years later, we become a market leading company and uh, do a lot of jobs. Why? Because many of the uh, companies just give up or uh, change their format. And another good thing about after crisis, we could not reach uh, to do top experts, let's say, because all of them uh, were occupied and they were working in really nice companies. After crisis, they become free. And it was a really good opportunity that this dream, uh, human resources, we engage, we offer them and we uh, invite to our team. And this experience, uh, this potential, give us uh, a lot of uh, contracts, a lot of new projects, and we uh, execute very well. Uh, another thing, you need to uh, develop a habit for designing your life is opportunities. Lots of opportunities, even now if you are a student, lots of opportunities are returning around you. But we are just every day walking around with a sleeping mood. We just wake up, maybe travel, come to school, get out, but you are doing a very random things and you don't open your eyes. But returning around or you don't read news or you read, but you don't understand how to um, turn it into opportunity. So any kind of uh, chance, please use it. Sometimes, for example, I read some article in a news and I don't know this person, I don't know this company, but I am trying to find him through LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter and try to reach him. It's very important. Let him, he knows me and I know him. Let him, I'm also existing and working in different fields and I, I already realized that he is in the news and maybe we have some potential. Because in this kind of communication, always, some opportunities may happen. Maybe not today, maybe after several months or maybe some few years later, but we will have always some opportunity. Another thing I would like to discuss is network. Now you are sitting with each other, maybe next to person who is sitting with you, you don't know him or behind, but you must introduce with this person because you don't know, maybe your friend right now will be some director or manager of a feature company or will take really high position in, in a global company. You don't know about uh, what will be after five or six years uh, later with this person. So try always introduce with new people. Try to keep them very much uh, closer and try to make uh, friendships. This is very important because when we say about network, just um, don't think about very professional or business. Just keep a relationship and uh, just make new friends. 
and uh, try to uh, stick them uh, because later maybe you will have some discussion and opportunity together. In this university, of course, I'm not sure they are teaching uh, you about leadership, but uh, leadership is very important. Uh, when we talk about uh, leadership, people thinking it's something like um, uh, you should born as a leader. Maybe you cannot learn it. Uh, but I think there are some uh, tools. If you can use it, you can, every, everyone, I think, can be a good leader. The first thing what uh, is important for leadership is communication. You must communicate very effectively. This is very important. For example, you are introducing with some people each day. Please look to the face of this person. Look his eyes. If you are shaking hands, shake with, uh, in a way, not just like give your hand and take away. Each person, each your seconds, each introduction is very important because after some moment, people will understand or realize only this kind of feelings, maybe five seconds or 10 seconds. So whatever you are doing, do your heart and make it very simple. And uh, the next thing for designing your life for better or for some is dreaming big. Sometimes uh, we are discussing some projects in our company and we are brainstorming and we are writing some projects maybe it's not necessary at the moment or it's too huge for our company. We need a lot of support from maybe government, a lot of support from uh, international companies, but we still write it and uh, put it in uh, our format. Why? Because without dreaming big, you will never uh, make it happen. At first, you should visualize what you are trying to do. And you should really understand that if you dream big, maybe not today, but several, several years later, you may realize it. For dreaming big, but you need very basic skills uh, at first, you have to travel more, if possible, within Kazakhstan, maybe within city, or with regions of Kazakhstan, or in the Central Asia, or different uh, countries, try to travel more. How much you see more, it will help you to dream more. And another thing that may help you is read. Reading is very important. Whatever is your interest, even your interest is art or business or management or software, what is your interest, please try to read more this will also help you to dream more. And the next thing for uh, designing your life for better is develop a hobby. Whatever uh, you are uh, interested, maybe uh, swimming, maybe making gym or running or bicycle or painting or music, you should have definitely a hobby lifetime. You can change, you can try different things, but this is also very important to keep your brain uh, thinking, to keep your brain moving, and it's very um, nice area. It will support everything related with your professional life, related with your uh, family or business. So try to have one uh, hobby. And the last thing I would like to say about uh, designing your life, you must uh, trust yourself. You should have a great confidence. You cannot underestimate your power. Each of you has great and unique features what others ha haven't got. I am sure, for example, what you have and what others are uh, maybe too different. Maybe you are in, uh, very professional in management, you are very professional in, uh, let's say, in IT, or you are professional in engineering. So each of you has definitely specific features that you are uh, highly uh, distinguished and highly different from uh, others. You have to uh, confidence your background. 
even you are enough or not enough, just trust yourself, set your targets, and move towards your dreams. Thank you, Thank you so much.